Hi everyone, Steve here from Photoshop Essentials, and here's how to create a retro 3D movie effect in Photoshop. Along with the classic red and cyan colors, I'll also show you how to create variations of the effect using other color combinations. I'm using Photoshop 2023, but any recent version will work, and I'll use this image from Adobe Stock. In the Layers panel, the image opens on the background layer. And the first thing we need to do is make a copy of it by dragging it down onto the new layer icon. And the copy appears above the original. Double click on the copy's name and rename it 3D. Then press enter or return on a Mac to accept it. Next, we need to open Photoshop's blending options. And there's a couple of ways to do it. You can double click on an empty gray part of the 3D layer, or you can click the effects icon and choose Blending Options. Either way opens the Layer Style dialog box set to the Blending Options in the middle column. In the Advanced Blending section, look for the R, G, and B checkboxes next to the word Channels. And these checkboxes represent the red, green, and blue color channels that Photoshop mixes together to create all the colors in the image. To create our 3D effect, the only channel we need is the red channel. So turn off the green and blue channels by unchecking them. Leave the red channel turned on, and then click OK to close the dialog box. It won't look like anything has happened, but if we turn off the background layer for a moment by clicking its visibility icon, we see that the image on the 3D layer appears only in red. And that's because we turned the green and blue channels off. Turn the background layer back on to return to the full color image. All we need to do now is offset the two versions of the image. So make sure the 3D layer is active. Then select the Move tool from the toolbar. We're not actually going to use the Move tool, we just need it to be active. Then use the left arrow key on your keyboard to nudge the image on the 3D layer to the left. Hold the shift key as you press the arrow key to nudge it in 10 pixel increments. As the image moves, you'll see a red outline appearing along one side of the edges. And because the opposite of red is cyan, a cyan outline appears along the other side. The more you move the image to the left, the more obvious the 3D effect becomes. So just move the image until you're happy with the results. And you can press the right arrow key to nudge it back if you went too far. And that's all there is to it. At this point, we have our retro 3D effect. But for something a bit different, you can try other color combinations besides red and cyan. Just reopen the blending options by double clicking on an empty gray part of the 3D layer. Then instead of using the red channel for the effect, we can try one of the other channels. I'll turn the red channel off and the green channel on. And instead of red and cyan, we get green and magenta, since magenta is the opposite of green. And if I turn off the green channel and turn on the blue channel, we get blue and its opposite color, which is yellow. To switch back to red and cyan, turn off the blue channel and turn the red channel back on. And there we have it. That's how easy it is to create a retro 3D movie effect in Photoshop. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to click the like button and subscribe to my channel for more Photoshop tutorials. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. I'm Steve Patterson from Photoshop Essentials.